Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new and you randomly stumbled across my video, I don't know how you found me, but I really hope you decide to stay. And if you're an OG and a subscriber, joining me for yet another video. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another video. I've noticed I've gained quite a few new subscribers and I'm so, so, so appreciative. So please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe on this video. In today's video, guys, I've never done anything like this. I'm very, very excited. I kind of did something similar when I went to one of the best rated and worst rated nail salons, which I will link in the description box down below if you're interested in seeing it but in today's video i'm going to be reviewing this is actually probably one of my most expensive videos i'm going to be reviewing one of the best hotels in london it's a five star hotel i'm going to be showing you guys around and also reviewing the hotel so if you're interested without further ado let's get into it vibe very picturesque it's just very very pretty I love it loads of good places to eat as well so guys we've just been walking and we finally found the hotel so we're just gonna go and check it out and check in right now it's in St Paul's which is really really nice so in we go very fancy check in and see what it's all about. Okay, so we're just gonna go and find the room. Very nice. And let's check it out. Okay, and so we are in. Okay guys, so this is what the room is saying. Got my water bottle already. Got my Nespresso machine and two big beds, a digital alarm clock, a nice piece of artwork. Let's see what the view is like from outside. Oh, hello. You can see the whole hotel, chill little area. Um, I've got a massage later on in the spa, which is like in that corner. I don't know if you can see it. So if I can, I'll vlog 25 minutes there. And then next I'm gonna show you the bathroom. So let's go check out what the bathroom is saying. Okay, so we've got a nice little shower situation. We've got all like the goodies and stuff. So you've got like the soaps, the hot flannels, um, a mirror with me. We've got a little bathtub. Got some nice thick robes. I love a good robe. And yeah, it's a cute little bath situation. Nice taps, little blow dryer. Yeah, I like the shower. The shower's a bit of me. So yeah. Oh yeah, let's see the storage space. Oh, some dry cleaning facilities if you want to pay and stuff. It's got the ironing board and lots of like places to put your clothing. You've got a long mirror to take a picture. This is my outfit as well. I'm wearing this top with some Levi jeans. So yeah, and I got these really cool vegan boots as well from New Look. That's the outfit of the day. And the final cupboard, what's in here? Okay, so we've got a safe for all your goodies. We've got a kettle, loads of banging teas, herbal teas. You've got like cups, you've got some complimentary biscuits, some wine glasses, and over here, what have you got in here? It's a mini bar, but I believe it's locked. Won't let you open it, but yeah, don't worry, don't need a mini bar. So yeah, that's the room, honeys. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour and I'm excited to show you the rest.
massages now. How lush is this, guys? So literally, guys, this is breakfast. They've got like the cutest little HP brown sauces. Got my coffee with soy milk. Got some bread, mushrooms, and some hash browns, all vegan. I've got a really nice pineapple juice. It's really nice. And this is like just loads of people around eating. It's just a really nice time. So first things first, I thought breakfast was really good and they did have more options. I should have done more of a kind of buffet uh, video boomerang so you guys could see what was there. They did have lots of fruit as well which was really great but obviously I was too busy eating and enjoying the food. And also I don't know what it is about hotels but because so many people are milling around because it's a buffet style breakfast, people are getting up and you're having to close hot pans and things. It was just really hard to film and get the food at the same time. So sorry guys if I didn't show you enough of breakfast but on the whole I was actually really really impressed. There was enough options they had soya milk and they also had like a vegan style butter and I was obviously able to have a kind of full English style breakfast minus all the meat so I was actually really happy there was fruits but I was quite full up but yeah so breakfast was good the massage oh my gosh I don't know if anyone's like me but I was laughing she started going really like hard at times and I think my back is quite small I was like oh I'll try not to be immature and start laughing but then I got into it it was super massaging massaging it was super relaxing super zen and nice they were really really lovely it was just so nice to chill in terms of facilities I was really happy with the steam room the sauna and also the pool um, which you guys saw in the last clip and I think it was nice the only thing is I love a jacuzzi so I was super super disappointed that there was no jacuzzi facilities available it was broken I just think if you're paying that much money to stay in night and it's a five star hotel they should let people know in advance of their booking that it's broken because it hadn't broken on the day and like for me personally that's what I was looking forward to I didn't really fancy I did go in them in the end but I wasn't really mainly going for the steam room and saunas I do kind of just like to sit in the jacuzzi and hot tub and the fact that wasn't available is kind of upsetting also they ran out of slippers or they didn't have any slippers and like that's kind of like how you get brokers and stuff I'm not being funny I could have brought my own slippers you guys are right I should have but I always know that most hotels I've stayed at they have like slippers provided imagine you're paying for a massage 45 pounds and they don't have any slippers for you guys to walk through the pool area jacuzzi area so you're walking on carpet and outside in the hotel with no slippers so that was kind of annoying I just didn't understand why they didn't have slippers I didn't think that was that great but yeah on the whole I have to say like I really really enjoyed the experience I love the area it was so calming so zen it was so nice literally a stone's throw away from St Paul's Cathedral it was just really really lovely the staff were really great it was really clean the room was nice it didn't wow me but it was also a really really nice room like what more do i want um but yeah and i was just really happy with the spa and the overall experience i'm gonna be honest it wasn't that it was bad i thought it was really good but i don't know if it's because i've been to asia and your money goes a lot further and like even like three or four star hotels are better than that um but i do think four or five star hotel it didn't wow me but it also was like pretty good i did really enjoy it so i would probably rate it about 3.5 that sounds really harsh but 3.5 slash 4 out of 5 it was really good there was nothing alarmingly bad it was a really enjoyable stay everything was clean the location was great but i think i was just looking for that extra wow factor and that extra um for a five star hotel that's quite pricey in the city of london so yeah that's my overall thoughts on the whole experience if you guys tend to stay at fancy places or if you want to know anything in more detail about this hotel like you have any particular questions if you plan to stay there or you're passing through let me know in the comment section down below so angels that concludes the end of this video i really really hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe please let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this video what you want to see in this next video and i hope to see you guys soon